Welcome to another video from Reax. Today we're going to go through fitting the visor and protector for the Vertex and Vertex Vent helmets. Okay, so standard Vertex and Vertex Vent come with protective plates over the side, so we need to take these off to be able to fit the visor and the mount on. I've got the protector here. And this is the shadow visor, the tinted one. It's exactly the same process for the clear visor as well. Now they come as separate parts. And then you also get these replacement side bits. This is where the helmet mounts onto on the side. So we're just gonna go through how to fit these on. All right. The only tools you need, flathead screwdriver. If you've got a plastic one, all the better. It just helps protect against and then minor scratches and things, but we've just got a normal Stanley blade screwdriver on here. Carefully, you want to pop out. As you can see there's a little groove in there that you can fit a screwdriver into. Just engage into there, and it just pops out. Got the replacement, they are labeled. L and R, so you know which way round they go. And you just want to line the teeth up in the gap. You have to flex it slightly. And when it's done, it should seat firmly in all the way around the edges. Okay, just going to do the same on the other side. Oops. And again, just trying to line both of those sides up at the same time. checking that it seats in all the way around. Okay. Now if you are going to use the protector, it does say to put the lenses into the protector first of all. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And again you've got a groove just on here and on here and they're labelled one and two. So we do side one first. And when you do this, you have to be careful not to damage it. What you're essentially doing is just gently bending and flexing the plastic back so that it drops into the groove. You shouldn't need to force it. Once it's seated, it will slide in and out quite easily. Okay. When it comes to mounting it to the helmet, you've got these yellow attachment points. Oh, nearly forgot. Just have to take clip out there, which is the clip on the front. That slots in. You can work down either side. Line up the clips on the side. Just push them in to engage. It's as simple as that. You do find sometimes that to begin with, um, it does take a little bit of movement to get freed up. But once you've used it a couple of times, it becomes a lot smoother to use. Put the helmet on, twist it to size, and then, as you can see, drops down quite easily and goes away. Okay. To remove the lenses again, just press the yellow buttons on the side. That allows it to just come away. Okay. 